user, tweet about it, blog about it, video about it. And so the question is, how are social media uh, professionals uh, implementing that into their processes? Uh, uh, professional bloggers, professional writers, like the ones that Roxanne was just working with, know that, but a quick reminder will usually do the trick. Most people have no, no desire to uh, be in default to the FCC rules, and so usually it's just quick reminder. That, and that it's really interesting because if you if you are a clout user and you've been following clout and you've taken advantage of any of the clout perks, uh, they will tell you that too before you accept a Curtis a gratis product or opportunity. They will also say you must disclose that you receive this for free if you decide to share the experience with someone else. So, um, does that answer your question, Judy? Does it, P Peter? Do you want to? Uh, Speak to that too? No, no. Yeah. I think you nailed it. <laughs> you know, it's one of those things that it's very easy to turn that into an opportunity. So for the um, new media campaign, I actually made a special graphical banner that was part of the contract that each of the and you can turn it into an asset and make it actually contribute to the campaign. Um, if you look at a lot of the PR folks on Twitter that are, you know, at the top of their game, Brian Solis and, and others, you will see uh, Jeremiah Oyang, they will append a tweet with the word client. If they're directly pimping one of their clients through their personal account, which they've developed to create their own sphere of influence, they'll indicate, I'm being paid, you know, to let you know about this particular opportunity. Um, and not everyone does that, and you know, not everyone cares, but that's part of how we are developing, and that's a big part of, I'll put a plug in here for Social Media Club, you know, our professional members, that's part of what we do. We're helping to develop these standards so that it is at least, if not a level playing field, it's a transparent playing field, and you know where people are coming from. Thanks. Does anybody else have any questions? Do you guys feel like you got your questions answered tonight? There's, you know, how to buy social media services, kind of a big topic. Do you feel like you got a little bit more information? You understand a little bit more how social media is going down in, in Hawaii and how people are selling it and how they're not selling it? Anybody else? Okay. Is there any questions on the live stream? Yeah, it's 7:30. I mean, we've 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 had we've had a, a good a good night. Um, if there are any if there aren't any other questions on the live stream, then I think we'll uh, call it a night. I think we should let one of our speakers do the drawing. Anybody else? Oh, over here. Let me put it in there for you. Did I miss anything? Here we go. All right, shake it on up. Anybody else? Okay. All right, I'm going to hold the book, Get Seen by Steve Garfield. Yes, there's all kinds of stuff in there. We had a couple of tweets in there too. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Gwen, where are you? You won the book. <laughs> Woohoo! At a girl. Let's start the video early. Let's record Gwen at the bar. Okay, Gwen with Wahini Media. We'll just put it aside. Thank you. Thanks a lot for coming, you guys. I hope to see you again. We're not going to have another uh, public event until October, so keep your eyes open for the uh, email. We'll let you know the exact information and the exact dates for that. In the meantime, we're also going to...